Price here again for the Glue Bomb Show. Today, we are on episode number 70. And so I thought I would bring out a kit that's been in my stash for a while. I'm going to build a plane. I've built a lot of cars recently, so I'm going to build a plane. And of all the planes, this might be my favorite one, the P-40B Tiger Shark. I can't say for sure how young I was when I built this for the first time, but I was a little, little kid when I built a, my first P-40 Tiger Shark. I love this plane. I think it's the face. There's just something about that shark face on the plane that when I was a kid, I thought it was incredibly cool. And I have to admit, I still do. So we're going to pop the plastic wrap on this. Now, it was funny. The other day, I was driving down the street, and I saw a car. And this car, the, the driver of this car actually got a decal that was this P-40 Tiger Shark face. And he put it in right behind the front fender. And I have to be honest, I admire the kid's initiative, but it was on like a little Toyota Tercel or something in an old one. And uh, it, it looked kind of rough. But I got to say, on the right car, that would look pretty cool. So let's have a look at what's inside, okay? Well, first of all, I can tell you that this is molded in olive drab plastic. I don't know, and again, I don't build many planes. I'm going to say that up front. I don't build many planes, but I don't know that I've ever seen a kit built in olive drab anymore. Here we have the canopy. Uh, it looks like there's a one-piece canopy or a two-piece if you want to have it open. I'll probably go for the one-piece canopy because I'm not that great of a canopy line painter. Um, and then in here, this is 148 scale, so it's fairly large. I built one not too long ago that was a 172nd scale P40 Mustang, and that thing was like four inches long. It was tiny. I felt like I was old and going blind. <laughs> okay, so here we have the top of the wings, the top wings and the under wing that goes, hooks right into the fuselage. And then we have uh, the aler the flaps. I think they're ailerons if memory serves. Uh, tires are in multiple pieces here. Uh, we have some of the, uh, the inside, the cockpit details. I, I don't know if you call that a dash on a plane, but there's the dash. Uh, we've got some of the nose piece here. Of course, the propeller with the nose cone, and it uh, looks like some underwing tanks and some other things like that. Uh, and then we have the fuselage. This gives you some idea of the size of the kit. Again, it's pretty nice, pretty good size. I'm looking forward to building this. Like I said, I haven't built a plane in a while. I really like building planes. Just lost half the tail fin. Um... I like building them, but I don't build a lot. I'm, I kind of tend to be more of a car guy. Uh, the decal sheet is right in here. Oh, that's going to be interesting. The mouth is kind of a wraparound piece. And, uh, yeah, that could be fun. <laughs> but we're going to go for it. We're going to have a good time with this one. So, anyway, you see it's got a couple, looks like it's got a couple different wing markings for different ways that you could decorate it. I'm going to look and see which is my favorite and do it that way. And then finally, we have the instruction sheet here. Um, looks like a pretty basic build. Ravel usually does a pretty nice job on their uh, their paint schemes and, and uh, their, their paint keys and all that other stuff. Uh, one thing that I really, that, that kind of aggravates me with building planes, I have to be honest, is um, the seams. Because I always feel like I have to putty the seams to give it that real smooth look. But I also have to put the cockpit in before I can build that. So I've got this really nicely painted cockpit. And then I've got to worry about masking that off somehow so that I can paint the fuselage and wings without creating a problem. But as you can see, uh, it starts off here with... Uh, looks like cockpit construction, how to paint the pilot, and uh, how to prepare the inside of the cockpit for the, and the fuselage. And um, Anyway, it doesn't look like a hugely detailed piece in there, but that's okay. Uh, and then we have just some basic assembly, putting the fuselage together and uh, all the 
wings and tail flaps, and there we are. Again, uh, if you're a big building, uh, a World War II modeler, you're going to be frustrated by what I'm saying here because I don't know the names of all the parts. I just like to build models, right? Here's some different paint schemes we can use. I'm hoping to find a really good one that I can do. I'm going to try something new with the camo on this one, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this all goes together. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. I will share it with you as we go along and uh, keep stay tuned because remember, model building is supposed to be fun. So have fun.